But wonderful, wonderful area. A wonderful location to live. Keep that vibe from down. Right, well I've had a nice cup of coffee and a toasty, which was awesome, from the tea box. It provides a fine tea and coffee, and they're not wrong. And what a beautiful view to have that from. So we are now all calorified and uh, ready to crack on to find some more adventures. Um, yeah, what a bloody blinding day, eh? What a bloody blinding day indeed. Thanks to Mr Fish for buying me lunch. Ow! Ah! 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 That's really quite strong, that is, and hurty. Oh. Onwards and upwards, briefly, before downwards. Oh. God, I really whacked my knee then. <laughs> oh, what an idiot. So we're still on a road at this moment, um, but it turns into a lane here, I think. This looks very much like it is this. Let's just check public way yes well then we're gonna have a spectacular blue view in a second and there's a pheasant in front of us you're a stupid pheasant this is gorgeous this is really awesome riding I love adventure bikes I love enduro bikes I love dirt bikes I love motorbikes but don't let the bike <laughs> get away from you mate don't let the bike get away from you even though you're chasing chickens or pheasants um, <laughs> but yes adventure biking it's brilliant and I'm so glad I discovered it even if it took riding dirt bikes to do so MVDBR and Captain Cranky you've got a lot to answer for <laughs> all the rapeseed fields looking gorgeous and I think we are now at the end of this lane so need to consult the mappage consult the mappage but I think we're going straight on I think we're going straight on proper little skinny one this I think again this is one that Pez did the other day with Phil um, I'm hoping that the bit which has a really low tree over it was that bit there as opposed to another one down here because <laughs> there's an even lower one I think and I don't know whether this will fit I might be wrong though, I might be wrong oh this is pucker this is absolutely pucker and even if these are ones I have seen in other people's videos I haven't found them by myself before so that's what makes it more adventury because it's my explorer, it's my adventure that's found it. Um, shrubbery! It's been a shrubbery! <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, this is brilliant! Donk. flies everywhere now I know I would be having just as much fun on these trails on my beta as I am on this maybe more so because I'd be less nervous maybe um, and I'm more familiar with that but the fact that this will do all the road bits so much easier it's just amazing and it looks like we're just about at the end of this little lane here I think we're sort of going straight on again. I think. Yes, we are. Cool. Sheepsicles. I love spring. I love summer. And again, I love motorcycles. It's glorious, isn't it? Just absolutely blooming marvellous. See, I don't mind the tarmac on this back road stuff on the beta but it's not as nice because the bike isn't as planted on the tarmac because it's got obviously even well 100% dirt rated tyres or 95% dirt rated tyres whereas this is sort of 75% dirt rated tyres oh, wow 
fantastic. Bird of prey and pheasants just <laughs> stupid standing right next door to it. <laughs> but yes, all this stuff is just, just so explorable. The hardest thing about these sorts of uh, ride outs is fitting everything in to a video that isn't ridiculously long. Now I put up a video a while ago, um, well not that long ago, that was like a, almost an hour long um, and I had a few people <laughs> comment that that was a little excessive. So this is still classed as a proper highway, this is, um, as in a, a, a real road. Yet yeah, it's as bad a state as some of the, uh, the trails that we're doing. <laughs> awesome. I love our countryside really very much do. It's really nice going through the trees at the moment, cooling me down a little bit. Although this RST um, textile suit I've got is pretty good and pretty well vented, it's still got a lot of body armour with it, which makes it get a little bit warm. At least it's a light colour though, so it, it reflects the heat a little bit. I'm really pleased with it, it does the job very well. Um, but in the summer, I might well just get myself um, another set of body armour and just wear motocross stuff. Just because it's a bit cooler. It's a bit cooler when it's hot and sunny. Oh, I love this motorcycle. I love green laning. Oh, I love adventure bikes. I love saying the same things over and over again because bikes are amazing. I feel a bit mean because I know fish could go an awful lot faster along here and be able to stop easier um, whereas I'm scared that I'm not going to be able to stop just because I've got the extra weight which is what's I'm keeping my pace a little bit more respectable um, but we're still doing 20 mile an hour so can't really can't really complain going downhill this looks like it's getting quite steep I don't know what GoPro does though, it flattens everything out doesn't it, so you can never really tell how steep something is on the, the cameras. Uh, 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 gosh, get it into first gear again. <laughs> Fantasticals! I'm massively sort of concentrating on where we're going and stuff like that, but I, every now and again I peek out of the corner of my eye, the views that all around us and they're just they don't they don't get boring they don't get boring I'm not getting tired of how pretty the south of England is and being able to explore it on miles of tracks like this that I didn't really even know were here particularly so um, yes what a good day I am absolutely loving today, really, really loving it. I can't say how good this feels. It's just beautiful, beautiful warm day, sun shining, green lanes, motorcycles, good mates, and uh, yeah, yeah, my insides are warm and fuzzy, as is my outside, but that's a bit sweaty and manky. I'm definitely in need of a shower when I get home. <laughs> oh, people. Cheers. But yeah, we haven't got much further to go, to be honest. Our, our destination is Lumi's Motor Cafe. It's a good destination. And repay the brew that Fish bought me. Thank you. She looked cheerful, didn't she? <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, stop there, rehydrate and I don't know whether we'll go home a fun way or whether we'll just do it on the uh, the tarmac and um, we'll see how we feel then um, but <laughs> that might be another adventure <laughs> I think this video will be quite long enough by the time we get to Lumi's <laughs> um, but yeah I think I was saying earlier on that I made a video that was like 50 odd minutes and it's too long it's too long to expect you to watch something like that when it's not something like mega special like a trip abroad or something like that so uh, I will try not to do them again um, that one just happened to be that one as an experiment really I love the convenience of having an adventure helmet um, but I really could do with having some goggles as well oh this bike is brilliant 
I'm not saying this would do anything that a T7 wouldn't and the T7 is cheaper and I like the T7 I do like the T7 and my ability I might not even notice that the suspension isn't quite as good but most of the people I know who've gone off-road with the T7 have wanted to upgrade the suspension a bit in some way and once you start doing that you start verging on the cost of what this one cost and I prefer the looks of this one <laughs> I certainly prefer the seat height so I think I've made the right decision even if the T7 wouldn't have been a wrong decision it just wouldn't have been this decision and I'm so happy with this Ugh, bugs, bugs, bugs lots of bugs I haven't been down this part of the world for green laning for such a long time I've no idea if some of these lanes I have done some of them I haven't done um, yeah, it's all kind of quite new to me at the moment in my mind so um, I am loving that thank you I'm loving that it's all feeling new even if it isn't new but actually I think this is new new to me and how lovely is it going through this forest some of these trees are probably quite old don't think it's a man-made one I mean it could be could be but beautiful beautiful looking through the trees there Oh, this is so proper, proper pucker. Look at this, eh? Look at this. Adventures! We have some. Beautiful. Proper beautiful. Now, this might be the left turn here, maybe. Don't know. Let's uh, speed down and have a look. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, this one's looking a little bit not sketchy but just something I want to be careful of don't want to let the bike get away from me so uh, keeping the rear brake covered and a little bit of front we're in first gear Oof. <laughs> this is wonderful oh, that's quite a drop down to the left there not quite vertical but it's about as steep as hills get that yeah. don't fight the rut don't fight the rut you'll fall off <laughs> oh mate just trying to make sure that the boy doesn't run away from me just because it is a heavy old beastie to try and stop oh there's a big old drop there <laughs> this is awesome! Uh, high rut, high rut, hello rut! Freewheeling! Hello sheep! Hello sheep! Sorry I can't stop to talk, I'm concentrating on the riding. <laughs> trying not to, oh gosh, yep, trying to not ride out the rut but oh it'd catch a breath that's where you want goggles it's too hot for the visor this is a proper good lane just wish there was less flies all the bugs, all the bugs. Get out of my crash helmet, bugs. Oh, it's tickling my chin. There's a bug on my chin. Bugs on chin is wrong. Ugh. It's almost grossing me out as much as the one I ate earlier. <laughs> oh, this is absolutely awesome. What an awesome lane. Just being careful because it's such a skinny lane. This is—it's the width of the tyre, so it's tr like a scale electric. Um, but having a knobbly wheel, it wants to try and ride out of it. 
Oof. Stupid bugs, stupid bugs in my crash out. Get out of there. It was like they were, they were all collecting in there. I'm just sitting there tickling my fucking whiskers. Protein. Oh. Keep going. I don't know. I don't think I've ever done this before. Sorry, it's so slow, but you've definitely got one line. Yeah. And what I mean is this is too low. Like, why are my oh right, because it's just barren here. But they're protecting the levers there. I mean, if you put that in line with the lever, yeah. then you'll get a bit more knuckle protection. <laughs> we are, we are, we're absolutely, we, we know exactly what we're doing. To be honest, I mean, yeah, yeah. People should, if we're going around the world, should follow us for learning how to do it. <laughs> I fucking feel like it though today, mate. <laughs> can have fun and have a little adventure in your back garden. Yeah, yeah. And it really is in the back garden. Yeah. I mean, where are we in Hampshire? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, well, we're, we're, Lumi's is, what, an hour and 15 away from where we live-ish, yeah. if, if we go the, the, the quick way. Um, I mean, we stopped a lot, we mucked around. Yeah. And, and had, had, had I known where we were going. <laughs> well, yeah. But that's part of it, though. Isn't yeah, it? yeah. Exploring this. This is much better than... There's a random person in the field. Weird. <laughs> I it was a scarecrow, bro. It's a real person. I'd be offended if I'd <laughs> You're very pretty, my love, Luke. You're very pretty. You're not a scarecrow. <laughs> she, might, she might identify as one. I just stopped and I couldn't believe how many people vandalise these sheep. Yeah, they're all graffitied. They're out of their pumps. <laughs> yeah, like an <laughs> barnacists. Yeah, that's it. Alright, let's go play. Yes. Like we were saying. So easy to just have an adventure on your doorstep like we are here today. Uh, this way will do. Let's get stood up. Hip farm trails, sunshine, blue sky. Good mates and motorcycles. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, it's getting skinny. It's getting skinny. Oh. God, this doesn't give me some muscles. Riding this bike on trails like this, nothing will. <laughs> it's not going to give me any leg muscles today though, because I've been sitting down most of it. <laughs> right. Let's uh Alright. That's low. <laughs> Bleh! <laughs> epic riding, epic day. Oh my word, what I've done. <laughs> you poor motorcycle, you poor abused motorcycle. <sighs> oh, leg cramp. Yeah, this is off roading. <sighs> oh, this is good. Ow! Ow! That foot peg's an arse. That might be something I have to see if I can get rid of. Because that was horrible. That was hurty. What I did was I got my foot caught on the rear foot peg. Oh, yeah. A little bit of clutch control here. Oh, I'm feeling how wide this bike is, that's for sure, along here. Uh oh. Oh, 
I have done this one before. This is the one where Gavin broke his foot, I think. Oh. Uh, man, because I've done that road with uh, Pez and Gav Crinchley. Oh. That's where he broke his foot. That's the one we call toe breaker or something like that. Oh. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. <sighs> oh, I loved it. <laughs> this bike, man. This bike. Yeah. This bike. Yeah. Oof. Fucking hell, this bike's good. Oof. So, from today's antics, I think this Aprilia Touareg 660 has pretty much shown me it's exactly the bike for me. It's exactly the bike for what I want to be doing with my exploratory riding. And it's done it so, so well. It's done lanes I wouldn't have taken this down had I known they were like they were. So, yes, congratulations Aprilia. You've built an incredible motorcycle. You really have. I am so, so chuffed, so happy. Um, yeah, blooming loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it. Yes, this is one of the few green lanes which um, go through a farmer's land. So it's public right away, but the farmer owns the field. So a little bit of a goosey gander there. Try not to annoy them. All right, giant chicken. Silly birds. This in the wet is hilarious fun. Um, but it's very sideways. Although it doesn't look it on the camera, again, it's quite a steep climb and wet grass um, <laughs> and motorcycles. They're never, never friends particularly. <laughs> All right, let's get this gate open. Let the fish through. One of the times we came down here, there was a sheep caught down there on some uh, some barbed wire or um, uh, tangleweed wrapped around its neck. And uh, yeah, tangleweed wrapped around its neck. I mean, Phil had to go and rescue it, which was nice to be able to have done and nice to have seen because it was in the field that we weren't in. Um, we only noticed it just because of the commotion that was going on. So I'm glad we stopped that kid. poor little lamb from dying. There's an old disused railway around here and we go through a bridge underneath that. Um, I really wish that they'd make all these old disused railways into byways. It'd be so nice to be able to explore them. Yeah, okay, they're gonna be straight and not necessarily very interesting. Um, because you're normally in an embankment, aren't you? But yeah, here we go, there's the old bridge. A little bit of it chopped out so high vehicles can come through here. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Whew. And this is the main road. I think this is a 272. Turning left here. Okay, so along here, just a little bit. And then we're turning left. So I've just got to remember where it is. I think it's this one. Do you remember going down this one before? Hey. Do you remember coming down this one before? I've never been on length down. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's this one. I've done this one a couple of times with lamb chops. We normally go around it the other way though. So, um, yeah, I'm not familiar with what it looks like coming at it from this direction. But yeah, this feels like it. Pretty sure we're on the right one. So this is our last green lane of the day, or at least of this video. It's been bloody awesome. I think you can tell from how chirpy I've been, how ecstatic I am with this bike, and how much of a marvelous day it's bloody well been. It's always awesome to get out with Mr. Fish. He's a cracking guy, I'm pretty sure Anyone that follows my channel followed his channel long before me. But if you haven't heard of him, go check him out. There will be a link to his channel down below and also at the end of this video on the closeout screen. He's got several motorcycles and gets up to all sorts of antics. Talking of antics, oh, here it is. Here's the antics. Oh dear. Oh dear. 
this is where we find out how good the tyres are. Again, that old zero's here. <laughs> Wowzers, that's a deep rut. That was up above, above the axles, that was. <laughs> Oh, and that's it, that's the last lane. Fantasticals. And we are proper close to Lumi's now. If you just get up here onto the right main road that's there, jink right, and then uh, we are there at Lumi's, being all Lumi-fied. Wowzers. What a marvellous day. What an absolutely outstandingly blooming awesome day. So like I say, go follow Mr. Fish. He's just behind me, but the links to his channel are down below and at the end of this video. And if you haven't subscribed to me and you like this sort of thing, please give me a subscribe too. It would be awesome to have you come back for some more. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, all that stuff. If you didn't, you can give it a thumbs down. I don't mind at all. But please, 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 please drop in a comment. Let me know what you've been up to. Any houses? You were safe. Take care. And I shall catch you all in the next one. Uh, bye bye for now. Keep that one from us down. Hey, no, you gotta keep that bar from us down. What a day, eh? What a day. Definitely, definitely in need of a drink. Yeah. That was brilliant. Yeah, I don't know what time they. Five hours. <laughs> What's that? Five hours. Really? Jesus. Um, I haven't looked at my clock, but yeah. I mean, it, it, it felt like an hour. But we stopped for coffee. Yeah. And then we fucked around for probably an hour. Yeah, and with all my directionless. Yeah. I've massively enjoyed it.